Now today I will be integrating this sin x upon x where x goes from 0 to infinity. Now if the sum is for example only sin x or only 1 by x then it could have solved very easily. Now here I am going to use these differentiations under integral signs and again we have to differentiate and again we have to integrate. So, I will be using effectively differentiation and integration rules. Now, this integral equals to integral 0 to infinity sin of x upon x dx. Now, here in order to do integrate this, we need to assign some variable, assign variable or you can say parameter where a strictly greater than equals to 0. Now, here e raised to a x here let us say this is variable a here I will write f of a is this. Now why I am doing I am why I am assigning e raised to a x because if I differentiate this with respect to a I will get I will get x over here okay that x at this x gets cancelled so so that will be easy okay. Now look at here in this in this integral now this is not conversion okay in order to make conversion so now what i have to do is i need to bring these down okay therefore in order to bring these down so i need to write here minus okay therefore this integral become conversion okay now so now i am calling this as a f of a variable a here okay or you can say parameter a if a equals to 0 in this relation okay now then what the f of 0 equals to what this becomes 0 so so we need to find what is f of 0 our target is what we need to find f of 0 now if we are able to find f of 0 then our solution is done so now let's differentiate this okay by this rule so d by i will write over here d by with respect to a d by d a of f of a is equals to d by d a of integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus a x sine of x upon x dx. Our aim is to get differentiate of this, this function. Okay. So, we need to send this differentiation inside, inside integral. Okay, here we have what variable a and variable x. So, by Leibniz rule, we need to send this differentiation over here. Okay, now this become what partial differentiation. Okay, therefore this is become what. Therefore this is integral zero to infinity, deva by deva a e raised to minus a x sine of x upon x dx okay here we have dx now this differentiation become partial differentiation over here okay now integration is outside so we need to dif differentiate partial differentiate this with respect to a and then we need to integrate it okay so now on the left hand side what we have this is what f dash a is implies now differentiation of this is what this is what with respect to a if i differentiate 0 to infinity now respect to a means what i will get minus x over here okay so e raised to minus a x is as it is differentiation of this with respect to a is i am getting minus x so this as it is sine of x upon x dx now this x and this x gets cancelled this x and this x gets cancelled what we have is 0 to infinity this minus i am taking outside e raised to minus a x sine of x dx okay so we have this is what this is what we have standard integration or you can do one thing you can apply integration by parts or you can apply tabular form or di methods you can solve this okay you can see one of my videos uh, of integration of e raised to a x sin b x. So, that formula I will be writing over here directly. 
this equals to we have formula integral of e raised to ax sine of bx dx is what e raised to ax upon a square plus b square and then a sine bx minus b cos of bx this is the formula we have so you compare with this okay now here what we have to do we have to substitute instead of a minus a okay compare with this and then instead of b here sin ax is 1 into x so instead of b we need to write 1 okay therefore this integral become we have minus now this integral can become what this e raised to minus ax instead of a we have to write minus a upon a square plus b square is what 1 now a is what minus a sine of b is 1 so sin x minus b is 1 cos of b is 1 cos x here limit is from 0 to infinity this is what we have to substitute instead of x okay now left on the right hand side keep in mind we have f dash a okay this is what f dash a now infinity limit when x tends to infinity this become what 0 so 0 into everything becomes 0 so our main target is exponential part okay this is main okay this is not not much but if i substitute x equals to infinity this becomes 0 so therefore we have minus over here 0 hold this becomes 0 minus lower limit when x equals to 0 over here e raised to 0 is what 1 so here 1 upon a square plus 1 then again bracket i will use here second bracket here i will use third bracket here when x equals to 0 sin 0 okay sin 0 is 0 0 into anything is become 0 0 minus cos 0 is 1 therefore minus here we have minus okay here we have 2 minus and 3 minus therefore minus will come so what we have 1 upon a square plus 1 okay so this is what this is my this f dash a okay therefore f dash a equals to minus 1 upon a square plus 1 now we need to bring back to f a okay so in order to get f a we need to integrate this okay we have f dash a equals to what minus 1 upon a square plus 1 so now let's integrate this here integral of f dash a da equals to integral minus 1 upon a square plus 1 da okay now here this gets cancelled we have f of a is equals to here this is what this is 10 inverse remember 10 inverse x means the inverse a why we have integral of a square plus x square is what 1 by a ten inverse x by a therefore here we have a okay now plus some since we don't have limit over here we need to put some constant c okay now our aim is to find c what is c okay now f of a is what here we have okay so since f of a is this since f of a is this so there must be some connection in between this therefore we can say integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus a x sine of x upon x dx equals to minus 10 inverse a plus c now our image to find constant of integrations now now we have limit from 0 to infinity okay so there must be some relation between 0 and infinity so let's try when I substitute a equals to 0 over here, so whole this term become a 0 over here, okay. So when this a equals to infinity, okay, now this term, okay, this become what? a raised to e raised to minus ax become what? This become when x equals to infinity. Now this become integral here 1 by e raised to x into sine of x upon x 
dx. Now d is infinity. Okay, I am what I am doing instead of what I am doing is instead of a, I am substituting infinity. Okay, now here when a equals to infinity over here, a, e raised to minus a x become one upon e raised to infinity x. Now this become what this kills this integral. Okay, now this absorbs. Therefore, this become zero. Okay, this become zero. What about on the this become what this become whole become zero. What about this minus ten inverse infinity plus c. Okay. Now is implies. Now zero equals to what is ten inverse infinity is what minus pi by two plus c. Therefore c equals to what pi by two. So we are getting c equals to what pi by two. So we have constant over here. Okay. Now let's substitute this. Therefore, f of a equals to what? Therefore, f of a is minus ten inverse a plus pi by two. Now remember, so in this f of a is this. Okay, in order to find this integral, so we need to find what f of a. If we are able to find the value of f of a, then this is the result of the integral. Therefore. Now a equals to zero when a equals to zero. Therefore, f of zero equals to what? Minus ten inverse zero plus pi by two. Okay. Ten inverse zero is zero plus pi by two. What is f of zero? Okay. Now f of zero is if you substitute zero over here. Now this is integral from zero to infinity sine of x upon x dx. Therefore. In zero to infinity, sine of x upon x dx become pi by two. Okay, this is the required answer. You can see this proof by this is somehow lengthy. You can see this proof by applying Laplace transform. Okay, Laplace transform is quite easy as well as uh, you will get within few seconds this answer.